Welcome to Alley Pick and today's quick tip. These are known as 45 vinyl records. They call them 45s because they rotated 45 times in one minute on a turntable. Most of them aren't very valuable. In fact, you could find these at estate sales, garage sales. You probably have some of these in your own possession. For a long time, I've been trying to think of something cool to make out of this junk, but I haven't seen anything yet that doesn't look tacky or just plain ugly. Now, I know it's hard to get rid of some hits like uh, Doesn't Somebody Want to Be Wanted by the Partridge Family or here's one, Boom Bam Boogie by the Elliott Brothers Orchestra. Yesterday, genius struck and I came up with an idea so simple, so easy to make and something that's actually very useful. It is a wall mounted mail holder. As I said, it's so simple. It's basically grooves in a scrap of wood. It'll take me about a minute to show you how to cut the records and how to cut the perfect grooves in the wood. Let's rock. All right, this will be quick. Here's a tool I bought for cutting clear acrylic panels. It has a sharp point on the back end. It's an inexpensive tool available at most hardware stores or Amazon. But then what isn't available from Amazon? You don't want to cut on the label. That center section is thicker. I cut about 3 eighths of an inch away from the center at the top of each label. Once you score it about 5 to 10 times, it snaps off easily and cleanly. For the wood, I'm using this scrap of cherry wood. I mark one inch from the end and two and a half inches between the grooves. I'll be using a bandsaw and this crosscut guide set at a 20 degree angle. If you don't have a bandsaw, you can try a handsaw if you can cut straight and steady. The bandsaw blade is too thin for the record, so I used a miter box saw and some sandpaper to widen the groove until I got the perfect snug fit. If you happen to cut the groove too wide, you might try gluing the records in place, or I had one that needed a little adjustment, so I used an index card as a spacer to get a nice snug fit. Well, that's a groovy project. It only took me about 3,600 RPMs to make, and as long as I've been keeping track, that's a record. Scratch that, that's my vinyl answer. Oh, and for the record, a person born in 33 was 45 in 78. 